Founded in 2016 by artist and curator Jessica Gaynell Moss, the Roll-Up is an artist residency program for black contemporary artists practicing across disciplines. The Roll-Up provides a platform offering time, space, and support to thrive. Guided by an advisory board of accomplished black women and a leadership team comprised of black artists, the Roll-Up prioritizes our own rest, advancement, and empowerment. Each year, the Roll-Up invites black artists from across the nation to live in Charlotte, North Carolina for six months. We provide furnished living space, unstructured time, and support, including an honorarium, meal, transportation, material, and childcare stipends. While in residence, resident artists are supported with opportunities to develop programming in partnership with local arts organizations and are encouraged to collaborate with the community of local artists and neighbors. Local artists are also supported through the annual fellowship and internship programs that provide Charlotte-based emergent artists with compensation, mentorship, professional credentials, and the practical experience necessary to establish a career in the field. The 2023 Roll-Up resident was Los Angeles-based photographer Adam Davis. Adam was supported by the 2023 Roll-Up Fellowship recipient Cross Nebulon, as well as the 2018 Fellowship recipient Carrie J. King. having having a home that was huge traveling a lot Airbnb hotel room studio bed and, and ha having such a long and mentally spiritually emotionally and physically taxing day and then returning to a place that feels almost sterile it isn't the greatest and so returning to a home felt really, really good, especially a home that was so close in proximity to everything. The numbers behind this, I think, especially with the, the slower approach, only a few portrait sessions a day, focusing on the real process as opposed to trying to just like speed through a bunch of images per day, which I, I've definitely done just out of naivete, but also out of a desire to people please, but also just trying to remain vigilant on this goal. I think it's it's brought a lot of positive to not only my life, not, not only my life, but the lives of hundreds, if not thousands of other people and wanting to remain, you know, on top of things, but realizing that the slower approach yields better images, but also a better sense of mind, better peace of mind, and realistically, it also, and ironically, yields a higher quantity that are also of a higher quality. I bought a 200 photo, photo album from Michaels. Every city I go to, I do the same thing. And by the time I left, there might have been 15 or so pages empty. And so in, in terms of the goal, like the actual numerical goal that I set out for when it comes to this project, there's a huge dent. Here's my thing, here's my thing. If you do that, if you do that, you have to just make sure you don't leave it out in the sun. Because if you leave it like in direct sunlight, it'll go away. So you have to make sure it's in somewhere that you can still have light in the room, but you don't just like face it towards the sun all day long. It's like if you were to stare at the sun all day long, what happened? Yeah. You disappear. Yeah, you disappear. Yeah, yeah. yeah you disappear. You're up. Your eyes hurt, huh? Like, huh? And you can't see for a little bit. It's like, what? Same thing. Mm -hmm. So when we make the photo and you bring it home, I encourage you to make a frame on top six. That would be cool. But working 
in a black community means I get to feel comfortable around people that look like me. It means to to find a, a common ground between the person that I aspire to be and the person that I am and encompassing all of the experiences I've had throughout my life so far in a location, you know, into a place. I've created work in a non-black community. I, I started touring around the country with very limited, at least I thought they were very limited and became more familiar with the opportunities that were made available to me to actually work in predominantly black neighborhoods. And now it's either already offered to me, especially in a place like Charlotte or in places like Cleveland, Ohio or Mobile, Alabama to have that sense of home. People that I'm fortunate enough to work with to bring this project to life in these different cities also understand the importance of it. So also seeing the efforts put forth by others to maintain that sense of self and that sense of home, I've, I've found to be very, very important. I don't take it for granted that I, I get to work in our own backyard. I'm never gonna say it's my own backyard because most of these, all these places I'm not from, but it still feels like after a few days, a few weeks, I know my neighbor, I know the street names, I know who's, whose shop that is. All of those things come from that effort, that seamless effort being put forth to identify with the, the black members in the community. It's, it's a privilege to work. In, in a black space. That's that's the kind of stuff that I've not even necessarily dreamed about, but the more that I get to do this kind of work, it's like, oh, this is the this is a space that I wanted to be in the whole time and didn't even know it. I think that the difference was all of the logistics behind even the smallest of details were taken care of. And it's something that I'm growing more and more accustomed to. And this project is only in its third, going on its third year of, of quite a few, to be honest, and learning more about the process of how to execute a good, and not only just good, like an exemplary presentation of, I guess an experience, because this isn't just like an art project. It feels like I'm now stepping more into like a creative producer role, much more than an artist. And I think that the, the tell of a good artist is the one that cares more about the entirety of the presentation, just as much as they do care about the individual craft that they have the privilege of of executing. Being at a library, that was one of the joys of just like the inner child in me. I, I mentioned it during the talk at Allegra Westbrook about how I was practically raised in a library. So to have the consistency of walking into the, the halls of a library and turning that into a space in which I can make the art that brings me so much joy to this day. It's really special. And those connections came about because of the staff at the Rolla. How impactful this work is when in collaboration in proximity to an organization that has real relationships with, with a city, with the people in that city, and what actionable things can take place because of those relationships. Having a, a, a real team, a real team, that, that was huge. And I, I'm grateful eternally to, to Cross, to Carrie, to Jessica, to Brianna, it, it made things, 
and made things that much better.